In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use QuickTime to record videos right on your computer. Put the needle on the record. Hey there, I'm Kevin with Kevin Colby Media, helping you make an impact in the world with video. And if you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. So you want to make a video and you want to do something just real simple. And, or maybe you don't have a lot of, you know, video software or apps to use. Well, if you got a Mac, you've got QuickTime. Now, even if QuickTime has been deleted somehow, I'll put a link in the description so you can download it again. Now, one question I know I'll get, what about PCs? I've heard you can run QuickTime on PCs. Don't really know that. I'm a Mac guy. But if you follow the link in the description, there's even a place on there where you can download it for PC. QuickTime is, is nothing fancy. There's no bells and whistles. There's no plugins. But literally, it makes it so simple to record yourself or even your screen. So let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how to do it. So I've already started my screen recording to actually show you how to use QuickTime on the computer. So just, just go with me a second. So I've already got QuickTime open, but you would typically go here, launch this, and go up here. If you notice you have new movie, oops, if you notice you have new movie recording, new audio recording, and new screen recording. So I'm already doing a screen recording. I'll show you that in a second. But now let's launch new movie recording. And what that does, it opens this window. And this is really important. When you get here, you have these options. So if you notice, you go down here, here's this red button right there. And beside it, there are these options for your camera and your mic. A lot of times it will default to your FaceTime camera. Not the best camera, but if that's all you've got, use it. But you can see the webcam. There's the webcam I have on top of my uh, computer. Hello. But right now I'm using my uh, Canon G7S Mark III, which is going through a capture card. I mean, you can use any camera through that. I just what I happen to have. And the microphone. Again, this is very important. The internal mics on computers are horrible. That's all you've got. That's all you've got. I'm using this, actually recording this, using my uh, Audio-Technica ATR2100, which is what I use for live streaming and everything. Great mic, great sound. Um, and then you can choose two options here. I would always go with maximum. And I'll tell you, it, it's going to give you a bigger file, but it makes the video resolution better. Now, when you're ready to record, you hit that. And it's recording. I mean, you'll know it because the timer cart starts going. So, oop, got out of focus. So now it's recording um, the source. So even though I'm doing a screen recording, you're seeing the, the entire screen. It's only recording what's here. So when you're done, you just hit this, and that's it. Now, if you notice, there's the screen. Uh, it it, it kind of can throw you when you do it because it's like you on top of you, and then but you hit. You can close it. This is also the other important. You don't have to title it, but it's going to give you an untitled file. I would go ahead and name this. We'll just call this QuickTime Test. You can choose where you want to save it. Uh, typically, I save it to my external drive, but just for now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And it's saving it, and it's done. So now let's talk about screen recording. It works pretty much the same way. You go up to File, and you choose New Screen Recording. Now, I'm actually using the screen recording now to show you how to do all this. So the option would be a little different, but you'll get this little bar that pops up and you'll have option of doing a screen grab or screen record. And we're talking about screen recording. You can choose the entire screen, which is what I'm doing here, or you can choose just a, a section of it. Literally, it gives you a little crosshairs and you can pull that and down and just select the area. That's usually what I do, but for this, I'm doing the full one. I can't really show you because I'm using that right now, but you do get options, and the reason that's important, is it gonna let me, yeah, it won't let me do that. The reason that's important is because if you're doing like a, a voiceover, so like, here's for example. So this is my uh, my kit page where I, I have my gear, and there's affiliate links in here and everything like that, but I could share my cameras and stuff. So right now, I could be doing a tutorial on this, uh, talking about kit, for example. And if I didn't have my mic turned on, you wouldn't hear anything. So that's the importance to making sure your mic is on when you're doing the screen record. And when you're done, you just go right up here to this little thing, click it. So that's how to use QuickTime on your computer to record videos or even record a video of your screen. Again, it's really powerful, it's free, and it's easy to use. Hey, let me know in the comments section what app or software you use to record videos. I'd like to know that. And if this video has helped you, 
I'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button and check out some of the videos that you're going to see here on the screen to help you make an impact in the world with video. I'm Kevin. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.